Welcome to Little Steps Big Gains. In this video, we're going to talk about 10 home safety modifications that can reduce the risk for falls for individuals with Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a neurological condition that manifests itself in a lot of really unique symptoms, such as changes in mobility with freezing of gait, coordination with tremors, postural, visual, and speech changes. Now, while home safety modifications can't resolve the symptoms above, they can significantly reduce your risk for falls. The following are 10 home modifications for you or your loved one with Parkinson's disease. Number one, reduce clutter and clear pathways. This may sound really intuitive. However, specifically for Parkinson's disease, clutter, distractions, hazards can actually trigger freezing of gait. Not only that, but Parkinson's disease may cause a loss of peripheral vision. Clutter can increase the risk for tripping or bumping into objects. Number two, create a home of contrast. Parkinson's disease affects the visual system. One of the most common changes is a reduction of contrast sensitivity. Contrast sensitivity is the ability to discriminate an object from its background. This can make it really difficult to navigate certain environments, like stepping into a shower. When you have a white tile, a white shower, and maybe only a light silver threshold. Going up and down stairs that are the same color. Putting on white toothpaste onto a white toothbrush are some examples. So to address that, we can create a home of contrast. We can do this through getting that friction tape, bright tape, put it along that threshold in the shower or they have friction tape on the grab bars, maybe on those steps in and out of the garage to differentiate each one, or blue toothpaste onto that white toothbrush. For more information on how Parkinson's disease affects the visual system, check out some free educational videos linked in the description below. Use chairs that have armrests. Parkinson's disease often affects spatial acuity, the ability to know where we are in space and then relative to objects around us. It's for this reason that individuals with Parkinson's disease often try to sit into a chair before they really get there. So use chairs with armrests so individuals can first orient and align themselves before they sit down. Number four, add grab bars next to that toilet and in the shower. Alongside spatial acuity, Individuals with Parkinson's disease often struggle with what is called verticality. In other words, what is truly upright relative to gravity? This contributes to that posterior loss of balance. So adding grab bars in the shower that are vertical and or horizontal can help the brain reorient to what is upright. They're also essential to help us maintain our balance. For individuals wheelchair bound, it can be really helpful to have a horizontal grab bar next to the toilet. They can wheel up, lock that chair, and then it's often easier to pull up from a grab bar, sidestep, or do a clock turn strategy where one leg is planted and the other leg turns to sit down. Of note, it is not recommended to use suction cup grab bars. Instead, really purchase something steady and sturdy. Number five, really maintain non-slip surfaces in that shower. Since individuals with Parkinson's disease tend to lean back, it can be really easy to slip. For that reason, it's really important to get non-slip surfaces in that shower. Now, shower mats can actually sometimes be pretty slippery. Therefore, it's recommended to get non-slip shower strips or friction tape on the floor and or maybe purchase some water shoes. Number six, use a shower chair and or bathtub transfer bench. Since the shower can be so dangerous, the safest mode is to sit down, especially during lower body bathing. In showers, it's important to have shower chairs with armrests. If individuals tend to slide off, you can have them sit on a wet towel. In bathtubs, check out bathtub transfer benches. This is a modality where individuals can sit down first and then in a seated position, they can swing their legs over, slide in. To prevent water from splashing out, you can get a model that has a splash guard 
and or cut out the inside of the shower curtain or sit on it are some options. Number seven, add floor targets. Parkinson's disease may cause what is called freezing. An individual often describes this as if their feet are glued to the floor. To combat freezing, two techniques are to go ahead and simplify stride timing, simplify stride length. Simplifying stride timing as we walk can be done through counting, marching, walking to a metronome, or the beat of a song. Now, simplifying stride length can be done through providing either visual or imaginary targets, where an individual can just focus on simply stepping on that target. I've had individuals put targets outside of doorways or even pathways to and from the bathroom to combat or prevent freezing. For other tips on freezing, such as in the middle of a freeze or even how to prevent freezing, check out videos linked in the description below. Number eight, add bed rails. Parkinson's disease may cause rigidity. Rigidity is basically stiffness, making it really difficult to bend. This is common in the morning and can make it really difficult to get out of bed. Now the two methods for getting out of bed, one include the sit-up method. This is where an individual is laying flat, they walk their feet over, and then we try to do a sit-up. Well, if you're combating with stiffness and rigidity, that sit-up is so difficult and caregivers can get hurt trying to wrestle to help. So method two is the log rolling method, okay? So here with a bed rail, person can take their inside arm, reach across for the bed rail, roll on their side. Their body is still straight. From a side lying position, they can creep their feet off the bed and then use their arms to go ahead and sit themselves up. That is often easier for individuals with Parkinson's disease. Number nine, add swing away hinges to widen doorways. Parkinson's disease may affect peripheral vision, seeing on the sides. It also may affect visual scanning and or perception. Some individuals see one side of the doorway smaller than the other. It can be easy to the bump into the doorway then. So add swing away hinges. This can widen the doorway by two inches, making it much easier to navigate. Number 10, add night lights. Parkinson's disease affects the sensory balance systems. Therefore, individuals tend to become very visually dependent. They use their eyesight so much to keep their balance. This can really increase our risk for falls at night when we cannot see. Night lighting is so important. We can get timers, voice activated, motion sensor activated, sound activated, and or strip lighting that can go along the walkways. And that is 10 home safety modifications that can reduce the risk for falls for individuals with Parkinson's disease. Now, if you're looking for more custom individualistic recommendations, it may be helpful to ask your physician for a referral for home health occupational therapy. A home OT can come in and make those custom recommendations just for you. If you found these recommendations educational or helpful, there is a handout for you linked in the description below. Also, please be sure to like, subscribe, share with others. My link to Patreon is in the description below. And be sure to check out other free educational resources and free home exercise programs because little steps together, we can make some big gains.